What is good friends, back more World Cup, this time Eternal Spirit from Team Brazil versus CBU from Team Greece. Zonk brought the same 6 months the other day, uh, it's obviously Rox, Heatran, Mega Mawile, you don't really see Rox used on Mawile. Uh, the Tornadus is most likely a Rocky Helmet variant, but he has a lot of potential Z-move uses. Uh, I remember when Zomak used this, the Z-move was on Coco I think, but the Z-move could also be on the Zygarde, could even be on the Torn. But yeah, Helmet Torn makes the most sense, um, helps you check Kartana. Then the Bulu is either Assault Vest or Spadef Lefties, which is a set that has seen some usage lately. Definitely needs to be some sort of Spadef Bulu to help him with Guninja and the Coco matchup. Then the Heatran is most likely obviously Leftovers because you want the longevity since you don't have Wish Pass on this team. We see Eternal Spirit brings a Mega Scissor squad. Uh, leads off with Landris, good lead here for Eternal Spirit. Uh, CBU is forced out most likely into his Tornadus. He doesn't know anything about this Landris yet. And Morwell is pretty valuable in this matchup. Morwell can potentially, if it has Fire Thing, it can deal with Scizor, and Playrough does a lot of damage to Clefable and Tangro. So all the mons that can check Zygarde, Morwell can potentially break through them. So I think Morwell is um, pretty valuable, and there's no reason to stay in for CBU. Um, if you turn up with a Scarf, I guess you can just U-turn out here to get the momentum. But I guess double into Rotom is also a fine play, because um, the Tornadus is super likely to come out, and the only reason CBU would ever stay in is if he's Ice Punch and Rotom also covers a potential Ice Punch. Um, yeah, but even if he has ice, pun ice Punch, I don't think it's worth it to stay in here for CBU. And on Eternal Spirit's side, I think the Rotom is most likely offensive. It could be a Z move Rotom because he has a defensive core in most likely Rocks, Fist Death, Clef, AV, Tangros, and Mega Scissor that can already check a lot of the meta game. So I could see the Rotom being offensive. Um, so that, that way he can now speed Heatran, stuff like that. Most likely Specs, Battlebond, Guninja. And I assume Scarf Lando, but we don't know that yet. And on CBU's um, end here, yeah. I think you can only go into Tornadus because you don't know anything about this Landris yet. Like, you still have to consider the Landris could potentially be Z-Move as well, even though I think the Rotom is probably Z-Move. Also, um, even if this Landris is an offensive Z-Move variant, you have the Intimidate on the Landris at the moment. And if your Torn is max HP, it's going to be able to pretty much take any hit from the landers and if lander goes for rocks here um, i think the rocks are on clef but if lander goes for rocks here you can just defog with the torn so torn pretty much completely fine play here for cbu if he doesn't want to take helmet damage or doesn't have u-turn i think his play is always double into rotom and like i said it also covers a potential ice punch in case the marvel stays in which I don't think the mobile is going to stay in. So we see Eternal Double um, into Rotom, and he predicts the Tornadus and gets the play correct. Now you either Willow Wisp or you Volt Switch. Um, the only reason why you don't want to Volt Switch here is because in case CBU goes hard into Zygarde, um, Zygarde can obviously threaten the Rotom out because it's, um, Thousand Arrows doesn't care about Levitate. That's one of the reasons why Rotom is not that great at the moment, or why it's, it's not used that much. Um, I assume CPU is just going to U-turn out here and we probably see a Will-O-Wisp from Eternal Spirit um, because the only one that c would um, not care about Will-O-Wisp is Heatran and Heatran obviously doesn't want to come in on the Rotom, especially if you don't know the set yet. If you know that Heatran outspeeds Rotom and you have Bloom them Heatran, yes, then you can threaten Rotom out, but before you do- wait, it's Scarf Rotom, it outspeeds the Torn, so we see Eternal Spirit go for Scarf Will-O-Wisp. Um, if he's Scarf, maybe Volt Switch would have been the better play. And now CBU has a free switch in the Heatran here, knowing that the Rotom is locked into Will O Wisp. Since it outsped the Torn, it's 100% uh, Scarf Rotom. So it's Scarf Rotom, which means it's not Z move, um, but it's op it's still offensive. So I, got, I was right that it's uh, offensive Rotom, but it's a Scarf Rotom. So the um, Z move user is either the Gren or the Landris, probably the Landris. So yeah, the Heatran is a big problem for Eternal Spirit. He doesn't get, have good switch ins. Uh, Greninja and Landris can both switch in once, and Landris just switched in and took a lot, so this confirms that it's offensive Landris. Most likely Z-Move, I uh, have to think at this point, because it's offensive and it's already Scarf Rotom, so it's not going to be Scarf Landris. Um, so there's a threat now, I think you still go into Torn here if you see CBU. You don't know the if it's Sky Strike or Condor Crush, so I don't think you go Bulu and risk this being um, Sky Strike. If you Eternal Spirit here, Hard Z-Move is an option because it would cover um, CBU going into Torn, but it might also not be worth it depending on the Z-Move. Because um, if you Sky Strike, you definitely want the Z-Move to kill Bulu. And if he goes Torn here and you already use your Z, then you can't um, use it for the Bulu anymore. You guys get what I'm trying to say, right? 
So I think he might um, put a double into Rotom or just click off quick here. Um, I would just go back into Torn here if I'm CBU. Well, it depends. If he's Sugar Coco, I could also see him going Tapu Coco because the Landris is in range of HP eyes. And it covers, like Sugar Coco covers him going for off quick and it covers him going for hard Z move. So I think that's a potential play as well. But he does go on a Tapu Bulu. Uh, Eternal Sweeper just clicks off quick. Okay, so we do see it's a leftovers Bulu, not AV. So it's, it has to be um, split of leftovers, probably a SD variant. Um, but most likely synthesis SD, superpower, horn leech, something like that. CBU shouldn't stay in here. I think he should go in a Heatran. Because Eternal Spirit, is, if he doesn't have Skystruck, he's gonna go into Scizor. And if he has Skystruck, he can potentially go for Skystruck. Heatran covers the Scizor switch and Heatran also covers the Skystrike. And it has leftovers and Grassy Terrain most likely. Um, obviously Grassy Terrain, but probably also leftovers will give Heatran health back if it has to take um, a potential Skystrike. But he does stay in, which is a misplay. And there's the Skystrike from Eternal Spirit popping the Tapu Bulu and now he just sacked his water resist which means if the Greninja is ash form it's gonna destroy CBU now um, I heavily disagree with staying in there but yeah Marvel comes out now um, Grassy Turin is up and he gets the Intimidate off on the Landris so um, even if Landris stays into Earthquake it's gonna do absolutely nothing to the Marvel but I don't know how CBU is gonna beat the Greninja now um, Eternal Spirit doesn't have great switchings to Marvel so he might just stay and get some chip damage off and sack the Landris um, the, the main threat to Eternal's team is Heatran. And yeah, this mobile is also a bit annoying. Depending, yeah. Well, yeah, th that, exactly. That's why you stay and just get some damage on the mobile because it is a threat. Um, I think you just click player off here. If you're CBU or do you, do you set up? So off click the 38. What does he go for? SD, okay. So he's gonna get some health back. But I think you just. Um, you just have to attack here if you see BO. So he doesn't even sucker punch, which he doesn't he didn't want him to switch out on the sucker punch. I get that, but now he's in range from water shuriken. So I think he should have sucker punched there. He potentially predicted rocks, but at this point it was relatively obvious that the rocks are most likely on the cleft. Because earlier he he never went for rocks with the landers. I think he would have gone for rocks at least once if he had them. So yeah, if this is battle bond specs, I think you just click water shuriken here if you eternal spirit. That way you don't have to take a sucker punch from the Mawile well if it stays in. And yeah, if CBU stays in here, dies to Water Shuriken, and Greninja gets Ash, and Greninja just wins the game pretty much. Um, after, like, it can just switch out coming back later and clean up with Pump after the Zygarde gets chipped down a bit. Because CBU did sack his um, Bulu not scouting for Skytruck. Also, um, a potential player for CBU is going hard Zygarde, um, predicting the Water Shuriken. But so if Eternal really wants to, like, if Eternal doesn't want him to make that play, he can also Hydro Pump or Surfy, depending on what he has on his Gran. But I think it's not worth it to potentially hit the Greninja that pretty much just wins the game if you play it correct. It's not worth it to let it take a sucker punch. So I think you just Shuriken here. If CBU stays and you get your Ash form, if he switches you still get some chip damage on the Zygarde. And you have multiple answers for Zygarde. You have a Clef, you have a Tank Growth, and you have a Mega Scizor. So depend no matter what the Zygarde set is, I'm pretty sure he can deal with it. So like if C CBU, I guess he might have to go Zygarde predicting Water Shuriken. And then from there pull a double. Um, but he times out. I didn't even pay attention to the timer. Um, so I don't think that's going to be recreated. I think he just loses. I think you only get... Yeah. I think if you disconnect at a specific time, and the timer is like, you still have like a specific time left. I don't really know how much time it is exactly. Then they um, turn off the timer at the TDs. They used to do recreates. I don't think... I think they don't really do that anymore. They usually just turn off the timer if you DC and you have enough time left. But yeah, he just he just timed out without um, DCing earlier on. So did he have bad net? Did this computer die or something? I don't know. But yeah, pretty sure Eternal Spirit had that game wrapped up.